Hey folks, welcome back to Technology for Blind YouTube channel. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to look at configuration profiles in NVDA. Okay. So if you are new here, welcome and be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enable the notification bell icon to be notified about the future updates. Okay. So with that said, let's get started. Now. The use of configuration profiles, let me explain first before diving into the actual process. Now, I have uh, opened NVDA. Now, this is the eSpeakWise, uh, which is applicable for only Explorer. Okay. Now, the use of configuration profiles is say you are having an app, an app, um, let's say Google Chrome which you would like to have a different uh, voice okay in my case i have uh, created a specific configuration profile to google chrome with eloquence and high rate okay let's see now i'm gonna open google chrome and you will hear a completely different voice let's see all right so this is google chrome now if i press start menu it will go to another the, the standard e speak voice the explorer voice let's see again when i come to google chrome okay so this is my preference okay you can do whatever you want using this uh, profile now if i go to winword um microsoft word you'll hear a different voice. Hey, document one, Word. Microsoft Word document, edit multi-line. Page All one, right. section one. Now, these are my personal preferences. Uh, I have configured a lot of configuration profiles. So this will be extremely useful. Say you are using multiple programs with multiple speech uh, settings. Uh, if you want to quickly jump to each and every um, profiles, you can do this automatically, right? Now. Let's uh, see how to accomplish this task. Now, uh, I'm going to exit this okay. NVDA because it's a portable copy. Uh, I have reset um, my NVDA to factory settings so I can show you what's going on. Uh, and I have shown you how to create a portable copy in my YouTube channel. If you want, you can watch that as well. So let me open the NVDA, the original NVDA. Welcome to NVDA dialog. Welcome to NVDA. NVDA usage data collect folder new list okay. NVDA six. Now, now it doesn't have any configuration profiles. Google Chrome. Let me go to Google Chrome. All right. Now it doesn't have any. Uh, new tab Google Chrome. Address and search bar edit and auto complete. So now what you have to do is you have to come to this uh, configuration profiles dialog. Okay, there is a specific uh, menu. In which you can access and create edit all of the, the do all of the things uh, at in one uh, place which is called configuration profiles which is located in the nvda um, menu okay so to open the nvda menu you can press insert NVDA plus t menu. and press you can go to the configuration profiles c configurations profiles press enter configuration profiles dialog list normal configuration editing now, this is the default configuration profile which you will get after installing the NVDA, okay? There are only one configuration profile. So, if you want to create a configuration profile for Google Chrome, new button before N. Uh, pressing the new button, so you have to go to the Google Chrome, new tab Google Chrome and uh, get back to the configuration profiles window and you, you have Space. to press new. New button, alt text, new profile dialog, profile name, edit, blank. Uh, without uh, specifying the profile name, let's go to the next Use radio button. For grouping. Manual activation radio button checked. If you say manual activation, you have to come to the configuration profiles dialog box and you have to select the um, configuration profile of the name of the config uh, configuration profiles from the list and you have to activate it manually. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is instead of activating the profile manually, we are going to activate automatically according to the application of our choice, right? So, if you press down arrow, you will see the application which we opened previously, uh, Google Chrome. Current application okay? explorer radio button checked. So, right, radio this. button manual activation. Current application explorer radio button. Hmm, where is the Google Chrome? New tab. New explorer. Explorer. 
Explorer. Yeah. Uh, I think we have to completely close this uh, configuration profile and after entering the Google Chrome link. in Google Chrome, okay, without getting in, getting the focus back to the desktop, you have to uh, uh, open the configuration profiles by pressing insert plus N and press C. Configuration profiles dialog. List normal configuration and editing. There are only one configuration profiles. Press tab to get new to button the new button. N. Stay. New profile dialog. Profile name. Edit blank. Now Use this profile press, uh, for grouping. Manual activation radio button checked. Manual activation. Press down arrow and you will get current to application there. Chrome radio button checked. All right. Current application Chrome. Okay, now button. if you press Cancel. tab. Now the name, name will be edit selected Chrome. Chrome. Okay, okay, Chrome let's say, say Google Chrome. Space. Google Chrome. Chrome. Now, if you press enter, it will create a new profile new called Google, Google Chrome. Chrome. Now, uh, if you go to the configuration NVIDIA profiles menu. again, configuration. you are editing the profile called Google Chrome. Okay, it has selected the profile as Google Chrome automatically. Okay, new let's see. Dialog. List Google Chrome editing triggered. Google Chrome editing triggers. Uh, triggered. Okay. New now Google. let's change the synthesizer to IBM TTS. Micro uh, Windows One Core Voices. Windows One Core Voices. New tab. Google Chrome. Okay. Docu now if I go to the desktop. Folder new list. This PC one of seven. Yep. I am with the Google Chrome. Uh, sorry, the eSpeak Voice, which I uh, configured to work with desktop. Okay, the Explorer of EXE um, file application. Right. Now, this is how you can create. Uh, Configuration profiles. Now let's see what's going on in the configuration profiles. NVIDIA menu. Configuration profiles dialog list. Normal configuration editing. Normal configuration editing. If you'd like to uh, get the Google Chrome voice in anywhere except Google, Google Chrome, Chrome, you can uh, press select the profile and if you press enter, it will folder view list. This select the Google Chrome profile as your default. NVDA right? menu. Nor folder view list. Explorer. Okay, let's create another uh, configuration R, profile R, for R, Reaper. This is R, Reaper. Reaper, okay. Reaper initializing. Uh, Reaper, Reaper V6.0. Okay, okay, now let's press insert NVDA uh, menu. N to get to the NVDA menu and press C to configuration profile. Configuration profile dialog. And new button alt plus N. Stay. New, new profile dialog. Use the current application Reaper radio button checked. Okay, current application okay, Reaper. Space. Reaper V6. Okay. Let's change the TTS to. Let's close this Reaper. Folder new list. Reaper X64. Now we are in the Explorer configuration. Now if I open R. Reaper. R. Reaper X60. Reaper V6.07 slash X64. Alright. Okay. So this is how you can create configuration profiles and if, if you, you can you can use this to your advantage. Okay? Now, the last thing which I'm gonna show is uh, say you would like to disable the automatically triggering part okay uh, say you have a kind of a performance issue now i have experienced a lot okay uh, it, when it comes to switching profiles automatically sometimes uh, not most often sometimes uh, there is a kind of performance issue uh, processing issue it might be stuck okay in that case if you are in a hurry uh, you can uh, say disable automatically uh, triggering things okay there's a checkbox on the uh, configuration profiles dialog which you can press uh, check to do this thing okay let me show that so let's close reaper now folder new list nvda 6 on 7 all right now to do this you have to open the configuration profiles dialog nvda N menu and c configuration profiles dialog list normal configuration editing normal configurations editing right now, if you press Shift Tab twice, close up. Temporarily disable all triggers. Checkbox not checked. Alt plus Temporarily I. disable all triggers. Checkbox not checked. Okay. If you press Check, space, check. space bar, it won't switch to any other configuration profiles except this uh, Explorer.exe. Okay. It doesn't matter what you are right now. Say you have done this uh, action after going to Google Chrome, and if you press Windows plus D to come to the desktop. It will stay in the Google Chrome profile. Okay. It will stay in the Google profile uh, thing. Okay. So this is how you can 
uh, use the configuration profiles and also you can triggers, but new button of triggers, button of plus uh, you can uh, use this triggers button to change settings um, it's a kind of a little advanced let me show that as well Temporary. now if you press Fold a new list. Uh, Google Chrome. If you go to the Google Chrome, Address and search our edit has okay. complete. It, it is the same configuration profile. Okay, since we have disabled that automatically triggering part, it won't switch to any other configuration profiles. Okay, so, so let me uncheck that. Now let me go to Google Chrome. Google Chrome. All right. Now we have the other configuration profile which we have created for Google Chrome. All right. Um, this is how you you can use these things. Uh, let's close this. Um, okay. Uh, but quickly, I will show the triggering part. Configure profiles. New list. Normal conf let's select the Chrome profile from this list. Chrome. And let's go to the. Manu new button alt plus N. Manu if you want, you can activate that profile manually. Okay. New button alt plus N. Rename button alt plus Rename R. Delete button alt plus E. Triggers. Button alt plus T. Uh, triggers. Space. Profile triggers dialog. Triggers list. Current say all. Current application explorer. This is the uh, kind of how the thing changes okay if you say current application only it will change for only google chrome say all chrome application reaper application uh, there are applications to kind of you can switch to the the uh, configuration profiles if you want to use the google chrome in reaper application you can change from this list okay say all. it determines this triggering part uh, determines how the configuration profile changes according to the situation okay profile combo box, normal configuration, close button, so i really hope you Configure. have learned something from this uh, video um thank you very much for watching and if you have any questions comments thoughts ideas please let me know in the comment section and also if you are new here to this channel youtube channel technology for blind be sure to subscribe the channel and also join the notification uh scott okay uh, by enabling the, the, the bell icon so you will be notified on the upcoming videos so thank you very much and uh, i'll see you in the next video signing out